up on Tiger Vision News. Be sure to try out the new Cell is Creative and Basketball Travels. All this and much more on Tiger Vision News. My name is Leah Moreno. And I'm Cordell Little. Good morning, Tigers. Today is Tuesday, January 30th, 2018. Cheer tryouts for the 2018-2019 school year are coming up. To anyone trying out, there is an informational meeting Tuesday, February 15th at 6.30 in the Student Center. And one mandatory practice on Thursday, March 1st from 4.30 to 8.30 in the Tiger Pit. More dates are to be announced next time. The West Texas A&M Band is performing on Tuesday, February 6th at 7.30 in the pack. There is no charge for the concert, so all are welcome to attend. For more information, see a band director. February 5th marks the date of the percussion extravaganza. This event brings together the bands of the FHS and all three middle schools for a beautiful masterpiece of music. So make sure not to miss this wonderful event. This past weekend, FHS hosted a BPA competition with 19 students competing. Congratulations to all 19 students who made it to the state competition in Corpus Christi. The competition at state will be on March 1st through the 3rd. That's all for Friendship News. Now let's head over to Dawson with the World News. Thanks, Quail. Hi, I'm Dawson Baker here with your World News. Faced with failing antibiotics, scientists are using killer viruses to fight superbugs. Patients in danger of dying from uncontrollable bacterial infections could find new allies killing killer viruses known as phages armed with and advanced DNA sequencing and artificial intelligence could turn into the natural enemies of bacteria and could take place of the antibiotics. Kids are getting replacement ears made from their own cells. Chinese researchers have grown human cells into new ears for five different children. It is created from a mirrored 3D printed replica of a patient's wealthy ear. From the, day, the data they acquire from tests, they can start creating cells taken from the patient's body. Self-driving trucks could solve labor shortages and put truckers out of the work with the introduction of self-driving semi-trucks. There is a debate over whether the technology, technology will put truckers out of work or help fill the gaps in the industry. Trucking has a shortage of 36,500 drivers. The group which advocates for truckers says the need will only become greater by 2026. Autonomous trucks could, in theory, ease this burden rather than kick current truckers out of their job. That's all for World News. Now let's head to Dalen with the weather. Good morning, Friendship. Today is January 30th, 2018. I'm Dalen Gonzalez, and this is your two-day forecast. Today, the high will be 71 and a low of 29. Tomorrow will be the high of 79 and a low of 34. That's all I have for today, Friendship. Have a great day, and stay warm. Hello Tigers, I'm Brandon Chagoyan and this is Friendship Sports Zone. The basketball girls travel to Odessa Permian to play the Lady Panthers at 6 p.m. tonight. Boys basketball are getting ready for a challenge tonight. The boys basketball team takes on the Panthers tonight at 7.30 in Odessa. Our Tigers soccer teams are continuing to work hard in the midst of this uh, season. The soccer girls take on the Lady Longhorns here at FHS at 4 p.m. this afternoon. That's all for Friendship Sports. Have a great week Tigers. Let's go back to Leah and Cordell. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.